My name is David Ring, and uh, my daughter Rachel uh, attends Luzo here and has done for the last five, six years. Rachel is nonverbal, uh, she can walk, uh, so this has been one of the very few places in Toronto we've been able to find that can help her as an adult with a day program that she enjoys and that we're comfortable bringing her to. I'm pretty lucky in that regard because I do bring Rachel here twice, I bring her here every day. So, and I pick her up at the end of the afternoon. So I'm lucky, I see what goes on here every day, twice a day. I'm here, I meet people, I meet the, the clients, I meet the staff, and this is a remarkable place. Uh, I don't know what we would do uh, if we didn't have Luzo, to be quite honest. It supplies us with a level of comfort that I don't think we've ever had anywhere else. The people here care, they get to know their clients, they respect them, and that's really, I think, what is so important about the work that's done here. Everything is individualized. Rachel is known, she's cared for, she's made allowance for, she's entertained. She loves coming in the morning. There's a big smile on her face almost every day when she comes. And she's usually pretty tired when she comes home, which means she's been working all day too. So that's nice. And in addition to the program that's developed, Luzo is also produced this wonderful respite program. Um, it, it's, it's great, we can go away now. Uh, my wife and I can go away for a weekend or even a few days and, and not have the level of worry that we sometimes did before. I know it's irrational sometimes worry, but, but it's real nevertheless. But because it's here, because the facilities are so wonderful, it's clean, it's modern, it's everything you could possibly want and it's safe, we know she's well taken care of, taken care of and uh, we know she's going to enjoy herself here. She, she loves it, and so do we. Thanks. Hi, my name is Val, and this awesome young man with me is Adrian. Adrian's very social and outgoing, and quite frequently very, very demanding of social interaction. Before Luso, this did not, not, did not allow for a lot of mom and dad time to do either chores or to let our hair down. Adrian's participation in Luso these last four years, whether the A program or the respite program, has allowed Adrian to redirect his energies in social and constructive activities, and has allowed mom and dad some time for relaxation, as well as to catch up on things that need doing. This is Teddy Patterson, who has been going to the Luso program the day program for several years and uh, he has a few things to say about the program. Teddy, why is Luso such a good place to go? Can you tell us? People are kind. The people are kind to you? People are fun. And the people are fun. And do you have a good time there? Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Teddy. Where did you go to school? St. Clair Ranami. At St. Clair Ranami. And what's the name of your school? Luso Center. The Luso Center. And uh, how, do you know how long you've gone to that school? For six years. Oh, for a long, long time. That's about right, Kelly, for six years. And what do you do at the Luso Center? You, you see Nan Nancy. You see Nancy. And who else do you see? Annie. Annie. And they run a great program, don't they? Now, on Mondays, where do you sometimes, what is it your turn to do? You can go to the library. To the library. And sometimes you go out into the community walk. A community walk, which you really like. And you can go to the school. And where do you go in the nice days and stay outside? Close by, there's a a park. A park. And when it's winter time, when, what do you do that has lots of lights and soft music? Snoozelin room. Snoozelin room, right. And there's even a portable snoozelin room for when you can't go downstairs, right? Yeah. Wednesday is what day? M movie Wednesday. Movie Wednesday. So, Kelly, I want you to hold this. And do you know what the sign says? It says, I love 
Luso. Luso. Can you say that nice and loud? I love Luso, Daddy. 